This is a wrought iron breech loading gun. Um, it's a replica of one of probably late um, 15th century date um, found on a wreck um, in Plymouth Harbour, the Catwater. And we're going to demonstrate firing it without a projectile, but in other respects, um, possibly in the way it would have originally been fired. These breech loaders were provided um, with usually at least two powder chambers and the powder chamber is lowered into the breech. The ball would of course have been put into the barrel before putting in the powder chamber. So I put the powder chamber in. I like to make sure that it's, it's lined up and with the vent or touch hole at the top and it looks as though the taper at the forward edge is presented well to the barrel. And then the, the wedge is knocked in. It doesn't have to be incredibly tight, but it needs to be tight enough so that that, that seal is as good as possible. That is simply a metal to metal seal. So the powder is already in there and so the gun now is loaded but it's not quite ready to fire. The priming powder has to be put in and then it's ignited with a slow match. Right, I'm now, I'm now putting priming powder in the touch hole or the vent so that the uh, flame from the slow match can communicate with the main powder charge. I'm going to put this back in a safe place. The gunner would, would wear it. Um, and I'm going to put on my ear defenders. Put the apron of lead there. Excellent. I told you it was loud. <laughs>